Hey, we filmed earlier going to Gideon's Bakehouse and want to share that with you. So stick around and watch. We made it into Gideon's Bakehouse. It's quite the wild place. And the flavor of the month. What's that? Not compared to usual, thanks to a rainstorm. Where's the menu? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there was a rainstorm. And so we were able to get in without uh, using the virtual queue. Didn't have much of a wait at all. The flavor of the month is white chocolate caramel macadamia nut. Often the flavors don't seem all that interesting to me, but I love those flavors. So this should be really, really cool to see them. Gideon's Bakehouse has just kind of a cult sort of following, a vibe all its own, a culture that people really enjoy. And it's sort of this dark sort of vampirish sort of place. And with each month you get a collectible card with a character's story. Um, I, I've seen other bloggers talk about it. We obviously don't follow all this, but this just came with our purchase. They have uh, six, well, they have five regular cookies and then they have a monthly special and a daily special. And honestly, when I've seen bloggers get these, they're huge. I mean, here's my hand. There's the cookie and I've got a big hand. And, um, uh, and so these cookies are just so big and they're piled with candy. They're really not all that attractive to me, but you've got to try something once, right? And, uh, and so we got the monthly special, which is the white chocolate macadamia, salted caramel, something, I don't know, a huge long name. We have got the toffee nut, which is the daily special. And then one of the regulars is a pistachio chocolate toffee and then a peanut butter. So we're gonna give these a little sample. By the way, these are huge. They last three to five days or six weeks frozen. Months. Oh, months, six months frozen. So they last three to five days if you eat them or just buy them and have them on hand or they last six months if you freeze them. And they do come in this sort of wax paper, fold them up really well, seal them, freeze them in the box I would suggest. But in any case, we're going to sample these and we'll let you know what we think. I will tell you right now that my first impression is not favorable because they're so soft, they look raw, almost cookie dough. Now, I'm not a person who likes super crispy cookies. I like them soft, but I do like them to at least look cooked. So we'll see. I'm going to give them a try, but just giving you my first visuals of them. Perhaps it's because there's so much butter, Diane thinks, or I just think they didn't leave them in the oven long enough. Um, they're they're pretty raw. It's it's just kind of like just a little beyond cookie dough, raw cookie dough. The flavors are all good. The toffee in particular is awesome. Peanut butter is the most cooked, um, but by the nature of peanut butter, it's already kind of high fat, chewy sort of cookie anyway. Um, Good flavors. Uh, if you like a crisper cookie, you won't like this. Um, but they're worth trying. Maybe not four of them, <laughs> but they're worth trying. So we saw long lines one time we were here. Yes, and, and it this was one, February and it was freezing and yes. it was raining and the line was like three hours long. Crazy, I crazy. Believe how, I mean, how good could these cookies be? Right. That people would do that. It was nuts. Okay, we are at Disney Springs and there is the Gideon's Bakehouse, very popular sort of edgy bakery with giant cookies and luscious cakes apparently. People really like it. It is 9 o'clock at night on a Tuesday in the rain and that is the line going down the street. I don't care what kind of bakery it is, 9.30 at night in the rain on a Tuesday, 
No, thank you. So when we finally pulled into town, that's one of the first places we tried to get. And thankfully we got in without the virtual queue. Yep, rainstorm. We're able to get right in line. Right as the rainstorm was letting up, and, we jumped and in line. And of course we showed you the flavors. We talked about what it was like. And I think we, you probably already got an idea. They weren't our favorite cookies, but they weren't. We had to try it, yeah. but. I don't get what the big deal it. is. I don't get it. What's the big deal? I would wait five minutes to try them, but I would not wait three hours. Exactly. Sorry. And, and those of you who love them, that's fine. It's yeah. all about preference no, when it comes to thing. food. But they, they're just so rich, yeah. so over the top. So raw. So cookie dough. Yeah. <laughs> it was more cookie Which dough is, than cookie. Everybody has a preference. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you love them, that's great. Put that in the comments. Tell us what you love about them. You already heard what we didn't love about them, but the flavors were good, just that they're just too thick and raw for our preference. Okay, next time, can yeah. we go to Ghirardelli and try every flavor <laughs> and uh, menu item? I have always had a fantasy of going into Baskin Robbins and asking with a little pink spoon of all 31 flavors. I've had the fantasy of going into Ghirardelli and swimming in that chocolate <laughs> thing. I don't, do all Ghirardelli locations have the? Have I don't that? know. Oh, well, there's one in San Francisco They've got the chocolate sauce factory sort of thing where they are, it just goes in a river of chocolate. That would be fun. That would be fun. That's yeah. another video. That's a different you, video. Another reason to hit that <laughs> notification bell so that you can see someday, me swimming in someday chocolate. Someday if you hear, if you see a headline, Florida woman <laughs> gets arrested <laughs> for, for swimming in chocolate. In and <laughs> but until then, chocolate. until then, thanks for watching. I hope you like and subscribe and hit the super thanks and donate to our channel. That'd be great. Until then, be good to others. Bye-bye.